Ah, it's so good to see you again. You're looking quite well today. Lasagna's my friend. Time to eat. Um, 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 um. This is an outrage! We cannot let this thing go unpunished. What a revolting sight, O oh glorious leader! That orange monster continues to devour beings such as us! Yes, General, but thankfully the galaxy will soon be rid of him and his entire planet. <laughs> if I didn't know better, I'd say I just saw a flying ravioli go by. Whoop, <gasps> not so fast. Gotcha. Oh, well, ravioli is a ravioli. <gasps> Transmission interrupted. The vile orange creature just ate the spying device. Revenge! 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 People of Parma, as your leader, I have ordered that the evil orange monster and its barbaric planet be destroyed at once. Operation Blasteroid is a go! Yeah! Yeah! Stretch! Launch! Hey! <laughs> Dr. Bonkers! Dr. Bonkers! Stratospheric radar detects a large object hurtling towards Earth! Oh, this doesn't look good. Wow! This doesn't look good at all! So, do you want to watch Binky the Clown? Nope. My contract says he's not allowed on this series. We interrupt this program to bring you breaking news. This is Dr. Thaddeus Bonkers. Doctor, would you tell our viewers what you just told me? Certainly. A giant asteroid is heading straight for planet Earth. What? Yes, it will strike in exactly 13 hours and 13 minutes and 13 seconds and destroy the entire world! We're doomed! We're doomed! We're doomed. But there's one chance. We have a rocket ship that could fly up and destroy the asteroid before it reaches us. Thank goodness. <gasps> you said it. The problem is... That no one can fit into the rocket in order to fly it! We're doomed! We're doomed! You say that the spaceship's cockpit was designed by a former cartoonist? Yes, and for some reason, he designed these spacesuits in the shapes of an obese pussycat and an empty-headed puppy dog. Our only hope is to find someone who fits into these spacesuits, who could therefore fly the rocket up and save the world! You won't actually have to fly the rocket. Everything will be controlled and monitored by ground control. Good. We have nothing to worry about. As soon as the rocket lands on the asteroid, you will go out and deposit the payload. Bad. We have much to worry about. To activate the payload, you only need to push the button on the tube. Then you'll have ten minutes to return to the rocket and leave the asteroid before it explodes. Good luck. You'll need it. Mankind is counting on you guys. If I were mankind, I'd be worried.
nine, eight, seven, four, three, two, one. What happened two, to six and one. five? Blast off! Soon the evil barbaric planet will be reduced to rubble! Glorious leader, there seems to be an object flying towards the blasteroid. A primitive spacecraft. And it looks like it is going to land on the blasteroid! Odie, we're a hundred thousand miles from Earth. A hundred thousand miles from civilization. And worst of all, a hundred thousand miles from Vito's Pizzeria. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they deliver this far. <laughs> okay, guys, drop off the payload. Activate it, and return to the rocket immediately. What's he think we're gonna do up here? Wait for an ice cream truck to come by? Odie, do you smell something familiar? Uh huh? If I didn't know better, I'd say it's. Oops! Yes! Just as I thought, Odie. This asteroid, it's a giant meatball. <gasps> yes, we are on a meteor. What is he doing? Is he eating the asteroid? The rocket's probe has analyzed the composition of the asteroid. It's made of onion and garlic-infused beef. <sighs> Leave it to Garfield to find the biggest meatball in the universe. Oh. You're endangering the mission! Drop the payload and get- Quiet, I'm eating. Can the creature really eat the entire blasteroid? Yes, it can. I have seen it dining before. It is insatiable. Yikes! Houston, we have a problem. Look at him. How is he going to get back into the rocket? There is a very simple way. Wish I knew what it was. Odie, I can't go back into the rocket. Any bright ideas? Of course not. You're Odie. The brightest idea you ever had was chasing your tail for nine hours. Hmm. Ta -da! The rocket is about to blast off. Garfield is going to be left stranded in outer space. Thanks, Odie. I knew you'd come up with something. Actually, I didn't. I just said that to make him feel good. Well done, Odie. You saved Garfield's life. Mm, not really. Garfield is the asteroid now. Earth is doomed once again! I'm deflating every time I burp.
<laughs> Amazing! He is almost back to his normal size! Our planet is saved! Where's Garfield? Mayday! Mayday! Welcome back, Garfield! You were heroic! Yes, I was! And you owe me big time. I'm gonna make a list. I'm starving. Italian, anyone? Okay, suit yourself. We'll go eat without you. I know a great little place I'm not place touching on the food of any kind for mm, a long, long here. time. Especially... Did he say Italian? Wow. <laughs> Remember how I used to say that I would go to the ends of the universe for lasagna? <laughs> <laughs> well, I did! People of Parma, once again, the evil orange monster wins, but it's not over. There will be a sequel, and we will have our revenge!